So Biden apparently comes out and says something about increasing taxes, which we know is going to happen. And now it's freaking out the market just a little bit. The market's freaking out. Are we about to crash? Or is there something else happening? Let's get straight into it, guys. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, guys, um, if you haven't done so, um, I am about to actually shut down free access to the membership area, to the trading course. I've just been giving free membership access. So if you want free membership access, guys, go to johnsfreegift.com, link in the description. Um, I'm going to be closing it down in the next day or so and going back to charging it. Um, so if you haven't done so, guys, this is probably one of your last chances. Uh, so go do it. Now, let's actually talk about the, the markets today. The markets actually had a little bit of a shake and bake. Now, not much of a shake and bake. We, you know, we on the Dow Jones, we can see we've actually had a very, very nice move from sort of 33 up to sort of 34,000. The S&P 500, you can see we had a, non, a very nice rally from 3,850 all the way up to almost 4,200. And now we're getting a little bit of a shake and bake. Now, obviously, we had a nice update today, a nice update yesterday, a bit of a sideways day today, so we're not really dropping yet. Um, it's I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too surprised if we actually did now see guys like just a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of a down day, or a little bit of consolidation as the market sort of just you know unwinds the freakiness of uh, you know Biden increasing taxes. Now guys, we know Biden has gone increase taxes, right? We know that that's going to happen, and we know that. Um, um, that's going to put an effect on the markets. Now, uh, there's two things that's going to put a put. There's two things that's going to put a, a dampening on the market. It's a tax increase and also rising interest rates. Um, until those things are set in concrete, guys, any pullback, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. Well, not really, not really. I, I should actually, I wouldn't say that. I'm just saying like. Get into good stocks, you know what I mean? Like good stocks that got good patterns and all that sort of down home, funky, dunky goodness. Anyway, so, um, you know, it's so, guys, I wouldn't be too freaked out right now. Uh, market is freaking out about increased taxes. Uh, are we actually about to crash? Nah, no, nah, nah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so guys, even if we did get a little bit of a pullback out of the S&P 500, which we actually, we may do tomorrow, you know, we, we may get a little bit of a, just looking at these shorter term moves, you can see, you know, we actually may get a bit of consolidation and a bit of a drop to the downside. But uh, it's probably not going to be too much, guys, because we've got the very, very, you know, even if we had like a bit of a 2 or 3% move to the downside, we've got a very, very chance of a massive high probability chance. And even if we did get a dip, the dip's going to be bought, and before we know it, we're going to rip, and we're going to be much, 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 much higher a month, two months from now, especially by the end of the year, I see much, 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 much higher prices. So any any, any sort of dip in the indices, guys, I wouldn't be worried about it. Moving on through to the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, once again, we did make this low here. We did make this high low, rallied up, yeah, a bit of a sideways, a little update today, a little down day today. Uh, a little sideways day today, so not really much going on with the Nasdaq. Um, now, Nasdaq's really, really interesting to see what's going on there. This, this, the, the Nasdaq to me, if you're, if you're not looking at this shake and bake, what's happening right now in the last few days, which is just that's all it is, it's just a shake and bake. What do I mean by that, guys? It's just like you now we we went for a move for a week or two, two weeks, and now it's actually spending a week or so, just you know, building up time and having a bit of a rest, bit of a rest before we actually start to make some moves to, to um, make some moves uh, to me, I believe is to the upside. Again, guys, by the end of this year, I see much, much, much higher prices. You know, where do I see uh, NASDAQ? Probably, we're probably gonna do a 15,000 plus print on the NASDAQ. Um, so that's another thousand points above where we are right now. I, how do I get that number? I don't know. I'm just plucking it out of my head. Just much higher prices than where we are right now. <laughs> um, even like silver and gold. Gold actually had a little, again a little sideways day. Again, I wouldn't really wouldn't really be worried about too much for that. I see more upside coming out of the gold price, and also silver actually rejected off that resistance. So I was looking for a bit more of a follow through that twenty six dollars and fifty cent resistance level. I was looking for a follow through when it comes to uh, these markets, right? When it comes to these, uh, what's actually going on right now. So that's what's happening right now, guys. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a shake and make, a little bit of a pullback. Again, 
I wouldn't be too worried about what's going on right now. Um, you know, when it comes to these markets. Now, there's a few things here that I, once again, I am really liking about what's happening here. And that is uh, things like Facebook. I think Facebook, this nice, beautiful pullback here. I was talking with my private clients just recently. And, um, and, uh, and, and I was telling them that this pullback here is get, this is actually a very, very nice pullback. Because if we hold here, we start to move up. It could be quite a nice little entry signal for another type of trading system that I, that I trade. I trade a few different types of patterns. And what, this is setting up to be a really, really nice pattern. I've talked about them in the last few videos, guys. So you can just go watch that and go check that out. Um, but also, guys, things that are just going absolutely nuts are the commodity market. So soybeans, you can see soybeans. Soybeans is, is, is picking up very, very nice. And you can see, look, look, look what soybeans has been doing for the last 12 months. Big, big move. Commodity prices through the roof. Um, you got things like even corn. Look at corn. Corn is just like wham, up, sideways, and away we go again. Look at that. Just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, right? And uh, now we're just continuing to go up. This is just really good sideways phase. And then now, whooshka, away we go again. Um, so really, really, really interesting stuff. What's going on here, guys? Um, a lot of inflation is starting to pick. This is inflation by seeing commodity prices do this. Corn, um, you know, where we saw, we saw um, soybeans, even things like wheat, right? So uh, if I look at my wheat, uh, wheat price, you can see wheat is, or is is also had a bit of a pullback, a bounce, and a very nice breakaway bar today. So um, I'm actually liking wheat when it comes to probably a lot more higher prices than what we're seeing right now. So we're probably likely to see a lot more higher prices out of wheat. We had a bit of a bottoming pattern. Now we're starting to change the tune of these markets here. And as you can see what's happening here, we're starting to, you know, starting to get a bit of a basing pattern here with wheat. This is the weekly chart. And now we're starting to higher lows, higher lows and starting to trend to the upside. So we're probably likely to see a much, much higher price move when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to wheat, when it comes to commodity prices, um, and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of things that's going on right now, guys. Um, just always the, the big thing, guys, is that out of all this. And oh, by the way, guys, Bitcoin, Bitcoin to me is starting to top out. Bitcoin is starting to get very, very frothy in the markets right now. If I bring this up, this is the uh, the charts for Bitcoin, and just looking at where'd you go? Hey, where'd you go? Uh, no. Uh, yep, there we go, right there. Cool. Um, now looking at Bitcoin, guys, this is the the good old Bitcoin chart, and let me just minimize that. Look what's happening here right now, guys. We're, something's have something's changing. We are changing the tune in Bitcoin. If you guys think that Bitcoin is now continuing up an upward move and we're gonna likely to go up, yeah, we could. But the the market is telling us that something is changing. Look at this here. So we have this low bit here. Okay, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, above the moving average. Uh-oh, what's happening here? It was a uh-oh, spaghetti oh, right? The market's actually having a pullback to here where we are right now. So, guys, this could be the top in Bitcoin for this move here. I like, because that's what the, don't shoot the messenger. You know, I'm just the paper boy. You know the paper boy? You know when the, you know, you know, you know back in the old days, the paper boy used to walk past your place? Especially you guys that are, you know, I guess, 30s to 40s. Um, anyway, you guys are 40 plus. You guys are probably even in your 50s. You guys remember that, right? Paper boy used to walk past. <laughs> blowing the whistle. I did that, right? That was probably one of my first jobs. Blowing the whistle. Saturday, Sunday morning. Oh, stop. Stop, paper boy. Right, stop. Give me the paper. And then he reads the paper, right? The paper is the market. The paper boy is just me. I'm just reading the market and say, hey, oh, I don't know. You do Da, da, da. What's happening right now with, with the good old Bitcoin is actually shaking banking right now. Now, the flip side of that, if we have a look at good old Ethereum, look what's going on with Ethereum. Ethereum's just like, huh? What? Yeah? Nah? Bitcoin's like, Bitcoin's like, oh, I don't know. We might be forming a top here. Ethereum's like, oh, what? Top? No. Continue the bull market. And look what's happening here with, uh, with Ethereum. Still high lows, high lows. There's still another high low here. Now, the question is: Is a, if a, if Ethereum starts to hold here and starts to break below two thousand dollars, 
that's a top of the market, right? This is this is probably going to be a bit of a top in the market, and we're probably likely to start to see something like that, right? And we're probably going to see something like that, and a bit of a disaster down the bottom there. Um, <laughs> so we can see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a good old time. Anyway, guys, that's a bit of a market update for you guys today. Guys, just be very, don't be so biased on one side. Don't be putting all your money in one basket. I'm in lots, of, I'm in four or five trades right now. I'm evenly split between them. Um, you know, I've got good risk management there. Um, just be, just be cautious, right? Because even though I believe in very big long-term bull market, I could be, I could be completely wrong, right? So if I look at things like such things as like, if I look at a such thing as Apple, right? I like the green apples, by the way. You like the green apples, guys? Um, give me give me green apple in the comment section if you like green apples. Or you like the red apples. Give me red apple or green apple in the in the comment section below. Or give me give me give me uh no apple, thanks. Um <laughs> one of those. But guys, even though I see a lot, a lot, a lot higher prices in the markets, we must be so aware and open-minded to the opposite. And hey, I could be completely wrong, and this could be the top of the stock market, and away we go. Oh, I, don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. The market's not telling us that yet, but the reason why I bring up Apple, because look what Apple could be forming. Now, I'm not saying this is, this is going to be. We need to see uh, it, it confirm. Shoulder, head. This could be some sort of a right shoulder. Big question mark here. So that's what I'm saying. If, if Apple starts to do something like this, and we break down out of this neckline like that, because the neckline... The, the neckline is somewhere through like that. Then guess what? This shoulder, head, shoulder, if we hold it and we start to break below this shoulder here, uh-oh, spaghetti oh, right? Now, we're probably going to head down. If that's the case, we're probably going to head down somewhere to around about, probably around the $90, and then probably, probably likely to overshoot and head down to around the $80, I would say. Somewhere around about there. Yeah, there you go. That's that's better, right? So measure from there to there, straight down. Um, you can see eighty dollars. So anyway, the whole purpose of saying that, guys, is that once again we could be starting to roll over and start to get a bit of a drop of it on Apple. This is just one of the signs, guys. That I, again, it's be open minded to to what could be out there. I'm saying big moves are coming, and this is potentially a head and shoulder formation. It's not yet, so you don't just go short it. But uh, there's opportunities out there right now, guys, to take advantage of this. I see a lot more upside coming in the overall stock market. But individual stocks are going to be doing different things. And Apple may just be one of those one of those stocks that actually starts to sell off a bit. I don't know why. Um, but again, this is this is now still in an upward trend. So we could just be getting ready to have another nice move to the upside. And away we go. So that's why, guys, just make sure you're trading some sort of a pattern. So hope this helps you out today, guys. Have an amazing day.